I started hearing the audible voice of God on the 29th of November 2019. I never knew it was real. I thought it was my mind speaking to me. So I sometimes discard it. Until when my grandma once chatted me up telling me that she needed a G DHL office in Hife. I checked up online and I saw that there was one on campus and I was determined to find out where it is. Immediately I left the library that day, I felt the voice come around again and telling me to go in a particular way, so I did. And it kept leading me and leading me till I got to a place where I found the office and I was like, wow. So since that day, I had taken it serious. Like, yes, this is, this is not just a random voice. This is God's voice speaking to me. So I thought it was going to be my ticket to be out of every questions that I wanted to ask God. I could sit down during my communion and fellowship and ask him, Dad, what's up? Can so I one day was with my mentor's wife and I told her, I said, Mommy, I think that I can hear God aud God's audible voice now. And I think that I am still going to ask God whenever I feel the horror or whenever I'm praying, hoping that I would one time just reply me that who will i marry like who is my husband going to be so she smiled at me and she said do i think that will make it easy i said yes i think it will make it easy and she told me about how she had known that she was going to get married to my mentor before they met and um, before they got married and it was years before he came around and she could not go to him and tell him hey God told me that you're going to be my husband so it was more tiring knowing that people are coming around so and they are good because God has already showed you who you're going to marry to get married to so she asked me to just be calm and know that things are going to be fine then like how am I going to know this is the person I want to get married to and the person would not even look at me for once and I know and I know and I know in my heart of hearts that it is this person so I thought I should talk to you about what I do while I wait while I wait wait on God for different breakthroughs in my life from marital to financial career educational and what have you even spiritual breakthrough I want to share with you how I go through this I am not here to try and act like I have it all covered up because I still cried two days ago I hope you enjoy this but before I do that let us enjoy a cup of tea I'll go get that ready What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of my vlog, Catch 22 with Ade Ola. Guys, thank you very much for every support you've always given me on this vlog. It means a lot to me, a whole lot to me. So, guys, I am coming here to bear my mind on a very important topic but before i do that if this is your first time here please and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss out on every episode of my vlog so guys i want you to sit back and i hope you have made your own cup of tea because i'm going to be telling you how i wait on god like what do i do when i'm waiting on god to answer a particular um request in my heart like how do i do it how do i go through it because trust me waiting on god can be a very daunting task i go into everything please let's take a seat welcome back yeah so guys there are different seasons in our lives and you know this season sometimes passing from one face to the other there is there is a there are points where we make mistakes and you know going from a season to another to the other and i have definitely made my own mistake too and if you've listened to my lawrence oil story you would you would if you listen to my lawrence oil story you would know that i have talked about the fact that i'm the kind of person that believes you can put this in place put that in place and you know everything is going to be fine but until i got to know that no you have to carry god along in everything you do so you know there are seasons in my life where i had made mistakes and it really brought me down and i'm so glad that god found me at that lowest spot of my life and i have you know got to a point where i had 
I'm putting everything in his hands like God please just come through and and take control so I'm not here to try and ask like act like Okoka like I got to Okoka dog it's a lie please I still try to get a go like I said before I started this vlog so but I'm here to um to you know bear my mind on how I do it how, how I go through it and it's it's very interesting because the Holy Spirit has a way of coming around to comfort you that times you feel so down and you know you feel that aura around you and you hear the oh god oh god like he has a way of comforting you sometimes i wonder how people without the spirit deal with life because life is hard on its own like i said this everybody's cash rate to do you cannot treat them you have to be gay you have to deal with it pray honestly i like honestly means bearing my mind to god on everything there is a way in which we have really boxed prayer that you know people feel like okay if i have i've done this then i can't pray like this for example there is someone that has an addiction let me be very point but there's someone that has maybe a masturbation addiction and this kind of person um needs to pray to god i like this kind of prayer when you come to god and you bear your mind on everything this is how i'm feeling this is what happens before i start this is this is how i feel talk to god like because that is actually how he wants to relate with us he is the only person that would not judge us he's the only person that we want to receive us back home just like the father received the prodigal son back home and you definitely can't do these things without his help so i have learned to pray honestly to god the days when i feel so down and I'm like God please you know the devil is making me feel like God does not love me or God is wasting my time or I pray and you know honestly and tell God this is how I feel I'm, I feel like it's this thing is getting to me I feel like when would this end I feel like you know I pray honestly to God the second point is I write it down mm, guys I write it down I write almost everything about me even about this channel i have things written down my life my marriage my career my schooling everything i have things written down that i want like i'm not a person that actually thought it's the wrong thing like i would pray and say god if or um if this if it is your will to do this until i started reading, reading books about faith I remember that I read a book by Paul Young Cho, The Four Dimensions. Then I read another one by Kenneth E. Again, I think Faith is about Faith, something like that. I remember. So they, they really emphasize on the fact that it is in God's art to do these things for you, it is in God's art to give you healing, it is in God's art to do this and this for you. So you have to claim it, you have to have the faith. Can I tell you again, say something like, Do you need faith for salvation? Like, you just know, you have the reassurance in your heart that yes now jesus christ is my lord and savior the same happens when it comes to having faith for for everything in your life so i write everything that i want down i write everything that i want in a man down i write everything that i want in my career down so if you are in that position right now please pick a pen and paper and write it down yeah write it down so let's go to number three the third thing that i do while i'm waiting is i walk I work I work <laughs> yeah I work to on getting myself better because I know that something I've noticed is the reason why God has not maybe maritally brought the person to you is maybe because you're not ready yet so I have to prove to God that I am ready for this precious person that is bringing into my life so I work to get better I work to get better spiritually I work to get better in my career I work to get better in everything that I do because I want to prove to God that yes I am I am ready for you know where is is um, about to take me to Joshua Salman says that um, there is no nothing that them uh, nothing like oh God has a, a favorite or he has this or he has that but the, what makes it different between people that we think are God's favorite and we is that they have proved to God over time that God can have their trust God can have their trust like you have my total trust God and they are proving it over and over again so in the point where I'm waiting on God to answer a particular question on my heart i work hard i work hard and you know better myself and prove to god that he can have my trust yes i can do this i know that you want me to do this i know that i want to put this in my hands god see baby is here she's trying 
daddy i can do this can you see let me prove this to you over and over and over and over again with your hair daddy i can like i can do this the point is i calm down and not get anxious unnecessarily there are people that ask god for a particularity and they're like show is it oh, oh is it that person or is oh oh this person looks like you know exactly in my mind i don't do that i was talking to my with my sister two days ago and i said okay i don't believe in saying i've seen people when it comes to marriage like marriage wise or you know relationship wise that tend to just go for anyone because they go to a time where they feel like they are tired i believe that desperate people don't even know if they are in love desperate people just want someone right now desperate people want somebody that can just fill that space right now and the reason why i said so is in the future this person might get to find love might get to find somebody that he really likes you get and because you had the one that you know he had to settle down with because he was not getting that thing that he wanted there might be problems at that point so i calm down and not get anxious unnecessarily because he there is a point where the bible says i should bring all my supplications to god bring everything to god i already said we should pray honestly i come to god and i say jesus i am getting tensed up i'm getting tired like can you please do this and in, in immediately he has a way of comforting us immediately seriously so don't get anxious or or desperate god is not a magician there are times that you ask for some, something and he does it immediately i can testify to that but he doesn't do that every time like it might be because of different reasons like i said the other time he might be want to be sure that you are you are capable enough for that thing that he wants to bring to you guys let's go to the last thing the last point is i ask god for his will to be done i ask him to guide me i ask him to help me and that his will be done because the fact is when god says that he is with you on a journey guys please just go and calm down those come come i used to say god if you want to go if you say you will go with me then i'm fine but if you're not going with me whoa coco let me stay i beg if you're not going with me let me stay so as soon as as long as god says that he is going with you then everything is definitely fine you have to pray for god's will to be done and it is that then we are going together so guys i decided to put down a list for of what i do while waiting and i would like to hear yours because i would like to learn from you Please put in the comment section and let me know what you do while waiting on God for that man, for that career, for whatever it might be. Let me know. So, till we meet next week, always remember that life is your catching soon. You can't fight nor resist it. The only way to fight life is to accept it. So, speak your truth as your truth can help anyone out there. Please and please don't forget to check out my new single, Omo. The link also will be in the description link. Um, box the link also will be in the description box till we meet next week guys i love you Bye.